Let's welcome the Orwell Choir. The choir is important for Oroville because it promotes human unity and it fosters a more harmonious collectivity through the joy of singing together. I really enjoy singing together um, with so many people, um, exploring a wide variety of musical material that spans say three, four hundred years of music, different styles, to be able to put it all together and then in a span of about half a year share it with the audience um, who really appreciates our work. And it's also singing in many different languages and uh, getting input from many different cultures of uh, which songs members of the choir would, individual members of the choir would like to sing and then that gets collated and it's hugely diverse and um, the future always looks exciting because you have no idea what to expect in terms of a repertoire. In general, there is an absolute uh, synthony in the people around uh, why we are here for. I mean, people are very much concerned by beauty, by harmony, by... These are the key words, you know, when you sing in a choir. Mm -hmm. My name is Nuria. I come from Catalonia, Spain. I live in Oroville since 1991. Back in Spain, before coming here, I studied singing, vocal technique, and musical interpretation. Then I uh, decided to come to Oroville because I wanted to help with this project of creating a more conscious society, following the teachings, the philosophy of Sri Aurobindo and the mother. And yeah, here I am since 32 years. I'm Tom. I first came in Auroville in 1980. Pushka wanted to propose to people who like to sing, and I was one of them. And so we started uh, these things with uh, very classical uh, songs. Bon, and now I am 75 nearly. At that time when we started, I was uh, 30 years less. <laughs> The choir was started by Pushkar, another Aurelian, in 1991. 
And then uh, in 1993, he decided to go abroad and pursue his musical studies. And he asked me to take over the, the choir. My name is Otto. I came to Oroville in 1981. I think I started, uh, must have been 1997. I always liked singing, so it was no big issue to make the decision. Uh, my name is Ananda Mai, and I'm born and brought up here in Oroville and uh, well, singing in the choir since uh, 1996. Well, because I, I, I love to sing and it brings me so much joy and energy. That's, that's why. <laughs> made for people that love to sing. This is an amateur choir, so that means you have people from different backgrounds, musical backgrounds, all levels. The singers need to um, also understand that and respect that, and that requires patience and being there for everybody to move on together. My name is Pranit and I've been in Oroville for about five, six years and in the choir for about four years, a bit more than four years. I came for one of the concerts and a few months later I sent an email to Nuria and she said, yeah, sure, join. She just checked my voice. I could sing fairly in tune. At the time, I. I wasn't a very good singer, um, not that I'm now, but uh, I was also surprised how open the choir is to, to all levels of musicians. Conducting, I always have seen conducting like something not so interesting. You don't get to see the public. So I thought it was always something very boring, but I had to do it and um, with the years I discovered my passion. It's really what I like to do. The first two years were a bit difficult because I didn't study conducting in in Spain, so I had to do everything myself with books, but I have been very lucky because many different conductors had come to Oroville, so they helped me a lot and guided me a lot with this job. I'm Shanks, and um, I came to Oroville eight years ago. I'm a music producer and multi-instrumentalist and I've been singing with the choir for five years. About a year ago I started to work with the men to help Nuria to bring all the parts together for the performances. Of the drums. There is a life about to start tomorrow comes. 
the sense of group throughout the years, it's uh, becoming very strong. To sing in the choir is a commitment. It's something that you really have to want to do it. You have to like it and want to do it because it takes a lot of uh, dedication. I'm Angelika and um, yes, I came 1992 to Oroville and I started singing in the choir, I think right after, quite soon after it was started. When I think back, it's quite a long time. <laughs> it's almost half of my life, not fully, but almost. <laughs> Overall, these 30 years, there is around 20 people that have been staying in the choir and singing in the choir. Yeah, 30 years, 300 is not that much. I thought more people had passed through when I, before counting, but yeah, if you count that um, almost half of the choir, it's, it's stable, it's there always, then it, yes, then it adds up. So it's around these 300 people. changes and it changes with the people also even though there is a core in that choir that is uh, quite stable some of them are with us with a long time but the new people the new elements are very promising you know they are so motivated and uh, and they contribute really uh, beautiful stuff you know it's a uh, part Well, uh, it has evolved in many aspects. Uh, when we started, we were around, uh, if I talk about singers, we were around 20, 25 singers for some years. And then uh, later on, we started to grow as a group, um, reaching uh, 55 people. Then with uh, COVID, we went down to 30, and since then, we are around 37, 40. The choir got bigger, it improved. It is a much higher level now. I would say the ones who were there from the beginning, including Nuria, um, we kind of improved a lot our skills. I mean, especially Nuria worked so hard over all these years to bring yeah, everything to a much higher level. Musically, it has evolved a lot. At the beginning, we were doing very simple stuff, very simple songs with a very um, simple setup, structure, very tonal music, not so complicated uh, harmonies, short pieces, traditional, popular traditional music, and some classical standards, but easy things typical from a community choir. 
we evolved quite a lot with the uh, with the practice, with the years, and we I decided to take more challenging pieces. Uh, usually we sing at four parts, four voices, but we have done songs on eight splits, eight voices, and even we did one with twelve. Uh, we do things with um, other musicians, either piano accompaniment or a small ensemble. I think we have sang a whole repertoire of, uh, from operas to gospel to modern songs and uh, sonatas and God knows what. I mean, we have gone through the whole thing. Except, I think, uh, atonal music we have not tried. A conductor has to um, conduct the music, has to make the music happen. The conductor has to put all the voices together, work on the musical structure and composition and bring it, bring it uh, alive. This year actually is 30 years of Nuria conducting the choir. And whoever has been in the choir for a little bit has been asked for what are their favorite songs. And we each sent her a list of what songs we would like to sing. And she chose from, from those, um, I think, close to 20 songs. And we had to split it over two concerts. rehearsals per week, two part rehearsals, the rehearsal for the men and the rehearsal for the women and then the general rehearsal with everybody. The part rehearsals are one and a half hour and the general is two hours. Then when we are towards a concert then we have um, extra rehearsals like two or three more per week of uh, two hours and so on. Uh, Oroville likes very much its, uh, uh, its choir because uh, usually we have a very good attendance. Well, you know, also the, the choir, you know, their fellow Orvillians or your, when we were a kid, it was, you know, our friend's parents and things like that. So it was all very um, connected and people you knew. Um, and yeah, no, as much as possible I attend. And still now, today, I still go to the youth choir concerts because there's always some children I know, my friend's children or things like that. So yeah, community. <laughs> I think when people come to watch us, it 
it can be a very moving experience because it's a massive instrument. It's like 50 voices singing in harmony. It's a it's quite a magnificent offering that happens every year and I think many people really look forward to it, not just as performers, but a, a large number of people living in Orwell look forward to a choir concert every year. What is very impressive is when we sing um, the Oroville Choir, the Youth Choir and musicians from Oroville together. Then we are about 90 people on stage, and then the message is quite strong. And we did this with the work, The Peacemakers, of, by Carl Jenkins. quite different in a performance and there's often a lot of energy, it's very special. When there's a real exchange between the audience and, uh, and the singers, in some, sometimes you really feel that the connection is very strong, then that is very uplifting, no? as well for us as for the audience. No? It's, uh... And we have these moments when we somehow we, we manage to create this music comes alive and it's like what the composer envisioned and, and if you can share that with people and share that experience with the audience and it's really all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Because the work we have to do together, which is through listening and respecting each other, then this unites us and together with the power of the music, it creates, it creates a very uplifting atmosphere that, yeah, that helps us in our growth. It's um, given me a lot of direction in my life here in Oroville. I experience a lot of growth uh, from the work that I do with the choir, and I feel like I'm also able to contribute to the choir in itself in return. I started singing, and as a result of that, I found my connection with my voice um, deepening. So it didn't just affect my singing voice, but it affected my speaking voice. Hence it affected my self-expression, my self-confidence. What, what I must say, what, what helped me a lot, because uh, when uh, Nuri asked me to sing some small bits of solo, she improved my voice tremendously. And it also helped me in my acting. Suddenly my voice became much stronger. That over the years it has improved a lot. No? That was a big positive factor for me, to having joined the choir and having had the experience with Nuria to improve my voice. When we are able to connect with our voice and we are able to express ourselves through the singing, then we touch something 
deep and true of ourselves. <laughs> appreciate a lot are the voice exercises, the warm up before the choir, where I learned a lot to, for example, not strain my voice. Uh, in the beginning I was often told I sing too loud, <laughs> so now I can listen much more to the other voices and blend in and I learn a lot by hearing, which uh, I think I was not able in the beginning so much. fact of changing repertoire very often. Bon, it, depending on the size of the repertoire, it was once a year or sometimes twice a year. But it makes you learn a lot. You have to learn all these songs, you know, and you have to work them with your body because uh, singing is also uh, discovering your body. It's, uh, it's really... Uh, an art that you create with your, uh, your body, with your uh, lungs, diaphragm, uh, pelvis, uh, <laughs> you know, like you have the, uh, all the different diaphragms that have to play, you know, and, uh, and you have to be relaxed. And if you are stressed, then <laughs> it doesn't go. <laughs> people together it's to sound to make the music and sound good we need to listen to each other we need to respect each other and this this already brings unity brings togetherness and then with this you have the power of music which of course the, the beauty that then we create with the music it also helps to to create this uh, sense of togetherness, of uh, harmony, and um, yeah, music unites. So it's it's very important for Auroville to have. I'm not sure if it's very different from our choirs, but Auroville is different, so that's already a start. And of course we are a diverse community and the choir reflects that also, that we have people from different nationalities, different ages I think in many choirs. And uh, yeah, but of course the atmosphere in Oroville is special. Yeah? For example, when we have a performance, 
uh, with children in the front. There are there's so many known people and uh, the audience is encouraging us and there's a special atmosphere. I think this you won't get in any other concert hall in, in the world maybe. It is very special. It's a, well, really, almost like a microcosm of our world, let's say. We have a large group, sometimes more than 50 people, uh, very different backgrounds, nationalities, personalities, and uh, we all just come together, put aside all our differences, come together and sing, because we all have that aspiration for, for something higher and truer and more harmonious. For us, I think it's important also because it's um it's a very binding element in a community. You know, any cultural activity is, I think it's extremely important in a, in a community like ours, you know, as a binding factor. You are in a completely different energy when you come out of your daily work and you go and sing, you sing with people you know and you like to be with, and making music together, that's I think, that's it, a joy to be together and to produce music. You know? I think uh, it's uh, a function of um, this human experiment here. Um, it's 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 one of the offshoots of um, this laboratory of creating a city in a forest. Yeah, it gives also a lot of unity, I would say. And uh, especially at this point of Auroville, where we are now with a lot of separation and different opinions, I find, for me, it's very special that we manage to sing together, even if we are in totally different spaces and we would maybe not meet as friends or even be able to work together, but we are able to sing together and that is really something, yeah. That means also to step back from one's own yeah, opinions and maybe what one likes or what one thinks is good or bad, it, it doesn't count, we sing, yeah. And this gives joy and I think this joy will also spread. You see, we never had politics involved in the choir. I mean, imagine you have 50 Aurovillians come together, working on something together for a year to present the program. You know, without any politics, without any upheavals, without any problems, which is remarkable in Auroville, I think. You see, music is food for the soul, so... <laughs> I would say one of the largest collectives or, or groups of war villains that have been together for that many years and have been working together uh, harmoniously. It's one of the few examples in Orville.
don't know. It's something I invite people because I see people sometimes just casually like that. You hear them singing and you tell them, hey, come on, my way, don't you just join the choir, you know? I just appreciate the choir a lot. Um, it, it, to be singing in the choir and all the work Nuria has done um, in the past 30 years. Well, to me it means a lot because it's Half of my life I have been doing this. It's my work, it's what I can offer to the community, and it's, it's my yoga. The concerts are going to be